your forecast in the Ozarks. Well, the rain started to slip in the Springfield area a little bit after 630 this evening, and uh, it's been really kind of wet ever since. The rain hasn't been terribly heavy, but it is expected to pick up in intensity here over the next few hours, and you can see how that precipitation continues to progress toward the north. Now, initially, there's a, a fairly stout layer of dry air closer to the surface, so I think there's going to be a chance that there will not only be some freezing rain, but also some sleet mixing in, and then also maybe after midnight as we get some heavier shower activity, we could find a, a bit of sleet. But all in all, this looks mainly to be a freezing rain event overnight tonight. And of course, temperature is very important. Uh, you can see how temperature is currently at or below freezing in most spots. Uh, right now in Springfield, sitting at 31 degrees and temperatures are not expected to really budge much either way for most, if not all of the rest of the night. Now, winter storm warnings, they're in effect for areas north of Highway 60. This is where the official forecast right now is for a quarter to a half an inch of ice. Areas along Highway 60, that's that southern edge of this threat area. Uh, we've got a forecast of up to a quarter of an inch of ice, but a lot of the model guidance is suggesting that there will be more ice accumulation than that. And of course, uh, that is of concern because the more ice there is, the greater the chance that you're going to start seeing limbs come down, possibly trees come down, and that's going to lead to the potential of power outages. Our forecast looking like this is through midnight. After midnight, notice how really nothing changes. Uh, areas north of Highway 60 continue to find a fairly steady freezing rain. Areas south of Highway 60, temperatures nudge a little bit above the freezing mark, so it's just a cold rain. Now, the steady rain starts to shut down, I think, around sunrise, but we'll still have some showers, uh, probably a light wintry mix over areas uh, of southwest Missouri and north of the interstate. Further southeast, I think it's just going to mainly be some light rain showers. And then I think toward noon tomorrow, as the core of the upper level low swings into southwest Missouri and the atmosphere cools aloft, there's going to be a round of light snow, which spreads across southwest Missouri and impacts areas, especially along and north of the interstate. By the end of the day, that activity should be sweeping out, but there still could be some lingering drizzle or freezing drizzle or maybe even some possible snow flurries. Precipitation, this is really the big factor. There's going to be a lot of precipitation. Looks like upwards of around an inch or so across the area, generally speaking. And again, a lot of that is going to be freezing rain. Uh, so that's why we're concerned about the uh, accumulations. Uh, kind of going ahead and focusing in, I want you to, to, to notice how the cutoff is very sharp. It's right along Highway 60 here. I think we're looking at air, ice in areas like Monette and Aurora and Billings here into Springfield. Um, I'm not going to say that we're going to have a half an inch ice in Springfield, but I do think that we'll probably have lesser amounts down toward Nixa and Ozark and higher amounts on the north side of Springfield and north of Springfield. And certainly maybe a quarter to a half an inch here with amounts around a quarter of an inch as you get down toward Nixa and Ozark. Same story east along Highway 60. You'll notice, again, the higher amounts uh, north of Highway 60. Uh, very little in the way of ice accumulation expected south of Highway 60. As you get into uh, the eastern counties, you can see in Howell County, Shannon County, expecting some freezing rain there, but uh, all in all, it looks like amounts should be less than a quarter of an inch. Really, the, the sweet spot for this ice storm is going to be in areas north of Highway 60 all the way into central Missouri. It looks like a general half an inch to three quarters of an inch is going to be a, a real possibility. And I wouldn't be surprised if there aren't localized areas that see a bit more than that. One other area, and you can see how generally South Highway 60, really very little ice accumulation. One other spot, though, that could see some significant ice accumulations will be uh, Berryville to Harrison and really south of there. Uh, you get into the higher elevation areas, and it looks like that's going to be a spot uh, where we could see uh, some, uh, some significant ice accumulation occurring. In areas where we see that, uh, certainly some limb and tree damage is going to be a possibility. Power outages are going to be possible. Bridges are going to get slick first. I think roadways are going to tend to stay in decent shape. As far as Friday snow potential, you can see again areas near and north of the interstate could pick up at least some minor accumulations of snowfall. And then another upper level storm swinging through on Saturday uh, will likely generate some minor accumulations of snowfall. And when I say minor, I mean generally around an inch or less. Sunday, we finally start thawing out. And it looks like most of next week, temperatures are going to be running above normal. Uh, and our next chance for, for precipitation is going to come in the form of rain on Wednesday. All right, sounds good. So if you don't have to go anywhere tonight or tomorrow, glad it's to stay a holiday. Home. Yep. Stay home, stay safe. All right, Jamie, thank you. Well, still to come for you tonight, the hopes for $2,000 checks for Americans are fading.